Hey everybody, and welcome to uh, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I did not 100% it. I'm gonna try and 100% it this time around. Just the uh, jiggies and the notes, um, not the mumbo tokens or whatever. I'm just gonna like collect how many's needed and then an extra three or something. It's time to pick a save file. So you got Banjo sleeping, Banjo cooking, and Banjo playing a game. I'm gonna play with the uh, game one because I'm playing a game right now. The game of life. Do you guys want to like have a cinematic experience? Uh, sitting in a movie theater. I'm sitting next to you, talking, spoiling the whole movie. And she picks her nose because she's gross. <laughs> I love when the animation likes oh, oh look. funny little little girl talking to a mom. Benjamin moved in like across the street, across the spiral mountain from Banjo. Kind of strange. So in this starting area, you don't get any special moves. You can't backflip, you can't side jump like in Mario 64. He's, he introduces himself. They introduce themselves like they don't know each other. And yet, it's just like, oh yeah, um, Banjo has a portrait of bottles in his house. So, what kind of, what kind of power does bottles have over Banjo and Kazooie to just give him the moves? If you pester him, I'll let, there's like a secret easter egg or something. What? No. No! 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 Oh. Okay, fine, I'll rescue Tootie. I'll play a flutie and then we'll go eat some foodie. These poor rocks, their only existence is to be destroyed. Go for a nice little swim. Nice little swim, Banjo. And completely miss the honeycomb. So, ready to tackle the witch. Yeah, I wonder which way you go, Kazooie. I wonder which way you go. Could it be, hmm, I don't know, the only way to go from here? Into the bridge leading to where Grunty came from? The giant mountain face shaped like her? So, um, believe it or not, uh, I did not grow up with this game. Well, not really. This isn't the first. Uh, I don't have the most nostalgia for this game. Uh, the one that I have the most nostalgia for is um, Banjo Tooie. That one was the uh, first one I had. And you just put the puzzle in the portrait, and then you can enter the world. Press A. Yay! The door's open! Yeah, nothing says testing you yet like pressing A. So if you can climb this mountain, you can enter- Okay, you can't climb the mountain. So we just materialized into this world. Some underwater notes. Ooh. <laughs> just gonna practice my mountain climbing skills. By walking up the ramp. Shut up, bottle boy. I can climb up this. I can climb this hill. Little little secret for you. A honeycomb. I'm gonna leave you alone, not because you asked me to, but because I don't need your honey. Yada yada yada. Yeah, we get it. We're playing on an Xbox. Ooh, yeah, real scary. Yeah, I'm ready to leave the world after getting one jiggy. Shut up, bottles. I don't know how how to uh. I don't know how to commentate. But, uh, I'm alone now, so it's just me. Juju Mumbo Dalton Ball, feed us with nice eggs. Let me give you guys a, a little speedrun technique. So you want to get hit by that to get infected with a tick of venom. And then you can climb up these ramps. A whole bunch of notes. Pick up these notes. Let me tell you a short story. What's a good story I could tell? One day, um, during, uh, back in, back in high school, I was, um, chilling with my friends, drinking some soda because I was un unhealthy, uh, and then I was like, okay, guys, I'm gonna be right back, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom, 
just gonna go to the toilet, it's gonna be chill, they're like, okay, you, you don't need to tell us that, you could just excuse yourself, and I was like, yeah. So I left, and I went into a stall because I'm scared of using a urinal. Because it's the, that one big communal urinal. So I went into a stall, and I was standing, and I was like, this is pretty, pretty, pretty chill. I didn't realize that there was a guy in the next stall. I didn't notice because he was being completely silent. I don't know what he was doing in there. But yeah, I was just standing and I just drain started draining the main vein and then it sort of a split and I went on the floor into his stall and I just I, I just heard from the other stall. Ugh! Dude, come on. Seriously? And I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm sorry." And then, like, as I'm finishing up, you know, pulling up my pants or whatever. I'm not like one of those kids who, uh... You ever have any of those people who are in high school, but... When they're at the urinal... Or in the stall... They, like, pull their pants and underwear all the way down to their ankles? Anyway... I finished draining the main vein the guy in the next stall, he was just like, yeah, uh, how do you like it? And I just, I just stopped for a second and turned around, and I'm like, I'm sorry? And then, this just like, tsunami, this shotgun blast of urine, shoots underneath the stall wall, I, I like, bounced out of there as soon as possible, he's like, maniacally laughing or something. And I, <laughs> I run out to where my friends are, and I was like, Whoa! <laughs> I was just assaulted in the bar. Not the way you're thinking of. Right. This guy attacked me. This guy used his bodily fluids to attack me. You know what, it's, saying it like that makes it sound much worse than it actually was. That was a good speedrun technique for any amateurs out there, just walk into the jiggy. And my friends were just like, yeah, I don't believe you. And I was like, no, I'm serious. I'm serious, dude. You can go into the toilet and look in the stall I was in and see all the, all the splash from there. And he was like, yeah, how do I know it wasn't you? And the guy in the stall says he's gay! Ha! <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Yep, now you get turned into a termite. Could you imagine a giant termite just, like, coming down to your house? Like it's on, like, a... on a mountain. It's on a mountain. Alright, picture this. Close your eyes and I want you to picture this scenario. Right? You've got a house in the middle of a field surrounded by mountains. One day... As you're out watering your plants, a shadow casts over you. You turn to look up at one of the mountains, and there's nothing there. You look at another mountain, and then there's this giant termite. This huge, disgusting mess of a termite. Grotesquely giant. And then it insults you and demands to have your shorts. What a weird motivation for these enemies. Give me it. Give me your shorts, loser. Give me your. Give me your backpack. You can. You, uh, you can open your eyes, by the way. I just did a, a sick triple backflip as the termite. So here's my time: 12 minutes and 11 seconds. This is a no door. Banjo does some dance moves and it's pretty chill. That's my last door I'll ever walk through, guys. Why'd you pause? Okay, so I paused it, and now I unpause it, and now the footage is corrupted. So that's pretty cool. Quick little uh, speedrunning tip. Climb up here and waste your time, but do a sick slam dunk. I wonder what, what would have happened if like Kazooie kept a trap shot. So as I explore 
the uh, nippers shell, I decided I'd introduce a new segment on today's episode, an advice segment, as if you will. This is an advice that I've been asked several times in my life, where people have said, Hey, give me some advice, alright? I'm working at my job as a cashier, and I don't get enough cash here. So, can you give me some advice to uh, get a raise or get a promotion? Well, from an unemployed loser like me, I can definitely help you out. Confront your manager or your boss, whoever discusses your salary or your pay. You want to go up to them and say, Excuse me. Um, you probably don't get this often, but you look great today. A little flattery in the office never hurt anybody. It works best if you're um, both the same gender. You say, you look great today. The manager or the boss will say, oh, I thank you. So do you. And you say, all right. I see that we can both agree on things. Increase my salary, and there you go. That's how you. That's how you get the uh, get paid the big bucks. Of course, this method might not always work. Say if your boss or your manager has seen this video. Now, what you want to do is um, type the secret code into the comments below. If any of you guess the code that I'm thinking of. I will tell you the secret way, right? Your boss or manager, they're not going to see it because they, they don't know the code. So just type in the comments the code and I'll tell you the secret way to get a raise in um, your job, your work, your career. Just whatever it is, I will help you get paid with one secret technique. Anyway, uh, that was, that was Nas Advice Shell. Nas Advice Shell. Next episode, I'll be taking requests from my shell phone as they, as I'm sure the ones of people will be calling up to, uh, get, get advice. So, uh, what you want to do here is to make sure you don't slide into the jaws of the terrifying- Now that you've avoided the terrifying clam, you climb up the tree, pick up the notes. Oh, I can't swim. What kind of a pirate can't swim? I don't know any pirates that can't swim. Mm-mm. Ahoy there! What? Well, if this game had fully voiced lines, what would that goal even sound like? Would it be like just Morse code or something? Just a few pilot. If there was Banjo Kazooie movie, who would play the gold that can just hit themselves and make noise? Dwayne the Gold Johnson? It's a crab. Let's kill the crab. Yeah, kill, kill, kill the crab. Mm, poor baby crying because he lost all your money. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Exactly right. So what you want to do is just get hurt on this box, completely miss the opening, and then backflip into it. Now, those are some good speedrunning tips and tutorials. I gotta stop giving advice. Oh! You hear that? And that, my friends, is an advice. Hello, you're on the air. How can I help you? You want to play Banjo Kazooie? <laughs> All right. Uh, what systems do you have? I, I have a telephone. Uh, what kind of telephone is it? It's a. <laughs> uh, it's, it's all right. Just use your words. There's no need to cry or anything. It's a. <laughs> There's no need to cry. Also, why is Shockbait Island on the opened? What is Shark Bait? Shut up. I'm not talking to you. Why is Shockbait Island open? That's only supposed to be open when you 100% the game. An Australian war featuring uh, an Australian animal and about, I think, 10,000 
No, it was 10,000 rounds of ammo that they wasted. I don't know how many soldiers were involved. I think there were two bird casualties. Okay. Did that help you out? Yes. Thank you. Good. Time and you're... You're not funny at all. Jeez, I'm... Okay, I'm hanging up. Alright, don't call me again. Uh, anybody. The advice shell is, uh, broken on the floor. It's, um... I'm no longer going to be giving out advice. Any advice that I do give out, you'll have to pay down me $50. Um, because honestly, I'm sick of people wasting my time with their bogus claims. Oh, I need help. Uh, my wife is giving me birth and I don't want children. It's just like, oh, get a vasectomy or something, dude. Here's a tip for you. Free of charge. Uh, there's a ginger right there. Yep. That's... that's the tip. <laughs> Alright, now's the part when you go and ground pound the... ground pound the X. So, let's just ground pound the X. Am I right or am I right? Uh, hey everybody. I just recorded... I just recorded this episode. And then it turned out that I forgot to hit the record button. Oh, where's the X? There it is. It's right there. Oh, I can climb up. Watch out. But I can't climb all the way. I did a really funny joke when I was, when I thought I was recording it. But alas, it was lost and I don't want to recreate it. Because it was like a one-time thing, you know? You know, there's things where it's like, yeah, I did that once and never again. Not because it was like terrible, but because, you know, that's the peak. It's the peak of existence. Like, what do I do now? I've just, I've just done the best thing. I'm just, I'm just gonna chill here for a second. You know what, actually? I'm pretty thirsty. Where's my water bottle? Here it is. Ah, oh, it's empty. Alright, I'm gonna go refill my water bottle. Do you want anything? I'll take that silence as a no. Alright, I'm just gonna be right back. Keep watching uh, Banjo. I'll be back in a second. Are you enjoying the show? Are you still there? Alright, I'm back. Oh, did I miss anything important? <laughs> so, what am I doing? Uh, hey look, there's a ginger up there. Obviously I'm not not going to fly towards it because I'm an idiot. Jumbo. Do you think he says Jumbo or Ra'o or, or what? I'm getting the last five notes. Why does it sound like, every now and then it sounds like I'm on the verge of tears. Do you hear that? I'm not about to cry. I'm gonna go over here. Sorry to anyone whose ears bled. Here's a clip of me killing the shark. Wow, I just killed that shark. Pretty impressive, right? Anyway, here's me being shot by a cannon. That's how you get the, uh, the jiggy over there. Look at this, it's Banjo standing still. Now he's not. And he wasn't standing at all. So, commentary, am I right? He's a funny joke. A pedestrian crosses a street. He sees a chicken and he says, Oh, hey, this is just like that classic joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? The chicken turns to him and stares. The chicken stares at the pedestrian. The pedestrian feels his body lock up. He can't move, he can't think, he can't feel. He can only watch. The chicken stares at him and he stares back. It's silent, but it's so loud. The pedestrian feels his eyes roll back into his skull, but he still sees the chicken. 
the chicken stares at the pedestrian as the pedestrian falls through the earth yet stands before the chicken the pedestrian falls 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 down in down into the earth's crust his body is on fire but standing staring at the chicken the chicken stares at the pedestrian and the pedestrian stares back a crowd is gathered around the two afraid to look at the chicken but afraid to look away everyone stands still the chicken watches them all eyes grow out of the chicken's head spanning all 360 directions the chicken sees all the chicken knows all and the chicken crossed the road before it interrupted by the pedestrian who fell yet stood before him the chicken slowly stretches its neck everyone's breath is held everyone is so afraid yet so enticed by what the chicken has to say the chicken watching all of them says and we're back this episode we're going to be going into a bubble gloop swamp I completely lied to you guys yep we're going into Clanker's cavern and today I decided I'll do something a little different and review uh, a Sherby if you don't know a Sherby is an Australian classic which is like a an orange flavored tube filled with sherbet and if you don't know what sherbet is you'll incredibly sorry for you so this little corridor leads to what people say is the scariest moment of this of this game and really I couldn't disagree more um this this isn't scary whatsoever <laughs> it's just banjo but I like Sherby's I'd say this music is much scarier than Clanker that's the sound of me uh, slurping the sherbet out of the wrapper sounds pretty great doesn't it really good anyway here's some snippers or whatever I'm not paying attention to the game at all pretty cool you hate it when people chew with their mouth open and they like smack their lips like this now if somebody tells you that they don't like something don't immediately do it I found that um people don't like it if you do that boy do you, you guys like tunnels and water tunnels filled with water uh, I know there's a honeycomb somewhere and it's right there uh, actually I missed it that show be staring me down I don't I don't know if I should take it or not I know I'm gonna regret it if I eat the second Sherby. try out some try out some Sherby's and send some to me I don't have a PO box or anything so just like if you see me on the street give me a bag of Sherby's grunty is a cool cruel mistress who bullies her robot you know I'm gonna eat the second Sherby because I have poor impulse control. Here's a message to anyone who's on a, on a diet. Don't take food and put it on your desk. So I haven't really made any comments about the game. I'm probably gonna continue not doing that. I kinda wanna like talk about other YouTubers, but by the time this these episodes get aired, the you know, what I'm seeing would be totally irrelevant. Also, there's the honeycomb piece, if you're wondering. I shouldn't have had that Sherby. It was good, but now it's gone. Leave a comment down below. 
if you want me to make incredibly dated references to YouTubers. I mean, I make dated references all the time. It's uh, kind of, kind of stupid. But yeah, I'm just gonna collect these notes and. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, didn't read any any comments because I'm recording this about 30 seconds after I recorded the last episode. Um, it's a little thing called scheduling. I'll probably get this whole series done, like recorded and uploaded before even the first episode is released to my channel. Pretty sweet. Just like that Sherby I would have had for this episode, but I ate the last episode. <sighs> so uh, old, old Clanker's got a tooth problem, and I gotta uh, I, like snap it off and get the jiggy from his tooth, you know what I'm saying? Imagine being a dentist and someone opens their mouth because they're compla complaining about toothaches and then you, you open their mouth, two of their teeth are bent in towards their tongue and there's a bunch of like, crabs running around the floor of their mouth. What's that called? The area underneath your tongue? Is that just called the floor of your of your tongue? Of your mouth rather? I'm really not sure. Leave a comment down below and then I'll I'll read it in quite a while. I just want to do weekly videos just to like help me keep motivated to actually do something with my spare time because at the moment I'm pretty bored constantly. It's just sitting at my desk, just staring at my computer. But now I I'm staring at my computer. But also, I'm failing at being funny. That just gave me an idea. You guys ever heard of Reddit? I like Reddit. I'm gonna read you some comments off of reddit.com slash r slash comedy cemetery just so that I feel better about myself. Uh, I don't know, that one's kind of funny I think. What does that mean for me? If I think one of these are, co uh, are funny. Uh oh. I heard the apocalypse stops by the time this gets uploaded. Knowing YouTube and where what YouTube has done, and people will be like, "Well, this is this this video is remnant from the past," and and he and he 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 thought it was gonna end. He's gonna end. But the apocalypse just got worse. There's only three people allowed to post on YouTube. Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, and Jimmy Callan. Oh, here's a hilarious, relatable comic. Ugh, I ate too much. 40 minutes later. Okay, that was real funny. Okay. Which Morty are you? Planet Morty, Parent Morty, Mentally Disabled Morty, Not Amused Morty, Suspicious Morty, Evil Morty, Shocked Morty, Unsure Morty, Really Mad Morty, or Sexually Harassed Morty. <laughs> These Robert Cop and Magnetograph memes are getting out of hand. Whew. Um, and then I found the notes, so it's all good. Write troll on the whiteboard. When the teacher asks who did it, hold a troll face in front of your face and say, Problem? <laughs> oh, here, here's a one that I truly adore. Boy asked girl, Why do you love a rose which dies in a day, but you don't love me who dies for you every day? The girl replied, Oi hoy, what a dialogue. That was posted by funwa.com. Forget fun, forget gumwa, have funwa. Oh, what's going on in the game? That's kind of brutal. Just like imagine if someone did that to you. Like lying down, head up, some tiny bear 
with the bird on his back just jumps up and just ground pounds your eyes I don't know it's just uncomfortable to think about like who would do that just ground pound somebody's eyes like would blood start spewing out would it just pop your eye like it was a balloon or would it I don't know it's kind of hey all you kids at home welcome back so the past few episodes like episode 7 that one wasn't that good I think I might I might be thinking of episode 6 but one of those two wasn't that great Toonie says she's fine thanks a lot grunty that's where you'd get the shoes if you had shoes so on uh, this episode not that much editing there is a little probably a little goof you might find it entertaining I spent two hours on it you, uh, you'll know it when you see it you just walk along the bridge and then you get to bubble Gloop swamp but in reality you don't want to go to bubble Gloop swamp instead you want to go behind it you get the eggs and you head up and then there's a little ice cube what's up ice cube okay and then you come back and then when you have one HP that's when you know you've done good <sighs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, this is kind of boring. I could do the the let's play meme of just screaming. That's what the kids kids seem to like. You know, people who watch it would think that that's funny, and then you know, people who actually have my sense of humor instead of building a fake uh, sense of humor that people are just like, hi, oh, I find this funny, and then when I do something that I find funny, they're like, what, what is this trash, dude? By the way, do you notice that, um, Banjo-Kazooie, it only counts up to nine lives, and it's that thing that John Tron, uh, in his Dino City playthrough is like, why is it only go up to nine? Nine? Nine, 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 nine! Developers don't know how to count up like that, but Banjo Kazooie does the exact same thing. So either one, one of a few scenarios would have happened, right? Either he never got over nine lives because they're pretty rare, and he he probably died a lot. Uh, number two, he just didn't notice because he was too busy enjoying the game. Number three, he did notice but just forgot about it. Or number four, he acknowledged it and then just didn't bring it up because he was reviewing Dino City, not Banjo-Kazooie. Also, I'm skipping all the notes because I just want to focus on getting the Jiggy. And then I completely miss. Let's take it for round two. Uh, thankfully, I have not been struck by the demonetization plague going around. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You may notice, uh, this game is pretty good. I'd definitely say it's in my top 10, maybe even my top 5 games of all time. Uh, the series as a whole, I guess. But this game is pretty good. Just because you personally have bias towards a game doesn't mean every other game is automatically worse. Banjo Tui, I like those boss fights. Uh, they're, they're a ton of fun. I can't wait to play Banjo Tui. <laughs> Trying to get the honeycomb piece. And you just, yep. Okay. That's a bit short, isn't it? Yeah, copy what you just heard, but I'm gonna try and get this. Accidentally held down forward, and he thinks I forgot it. <sighs> yep. Purple, yellow, blue. Wow. Alright, no. Oh, just give me just give me the honeycomb piece. I just want the honeycomb piece. Alright, now that that's over. Alright, now we're just, uh, headbutt- uh, not headbutting, beak busting some- some boys. People just say that I'm ripping- ripping someone off. So I'm just gonna say I came up with it. 
and then that's just plagiarism, which is arguably worse. Yeah, here we are, be- uh, jumping. <laughs> destroy a hat. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need that hat. Let me just destroy it. You don't need that hat. I found this last hut. Who built these huts, by the way? They're just a bunch of naturally occurring houses. Note to self, the next time you're recording an episode, don't eat, because there's just long periods of silence. I didn't really, like, plan, plan anything. Wow, that's a lot of birds. I think, like, nine birds just flew past my window. I see you fly. I hate the flies that, like, are loud, and they just fly into the window without... They should know by the first, like, two taps that it's a- you can't pass through it. And they just- They just keep running into it. That fly is so dumb. It was just walking on the window. And then it just fell. It fell off the window. Also, it's walking on the window, and then it's also trying to fly through the window. I have, like, a bottle of- of moisturizer. I wonder what would happen if you poured moisturizer on a fly. I'm not gonna do it, obviously, but I'm just curious. So let's just leave that fly behind and focus on the fantastic world of Banjo Kazooie, where there are giant wasps. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you like are getting bored of this. Oh, he's talking about a fly. I don't care about no fly. It's just I care about that fly because it's in the house that I reside. It's on my window that I'm looking at right now. There are plenty of other windows and they don't have any flies on them. I just turned around and looked so you can't, uh, you, you can't say that I didn't look before doing my research. I'm a very researchative person, all right? If there's any, th- any time I make a comment or anything, I always research it. I never just say it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's not going to come back to haunt me. Alright, one last jiggy. We all know where it is. It's inside the crocodile. So, let's just head over to the crocodile, eh? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm out of chocolate. Um, I mean, I didn't grab many pieces, but this is it. This is the vibe. Leave in the comments below if your favorite level is Bubble Goose Swamp. <laughs> and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Um, this episode we just got a hundred rings. Uh, notes. Uh, why did I say rings? So the last episode I edited, I lost what I edited. So I'm I'm I was re-editing it, and then I was like. I don't want to re-edit something I've already edited. Like I recorded the vocals and everything and then Premiere decided to corrupt the save file. So I lost that. If you have any good ideas for commentary or such, leave it in the comments below. Next series, um, what, once I've uploaded this series, I'm gonna read all your comments and then edit what I've said. Not edit. What am I talking about? I just say words without thinking about it. Uh, I'm gonna show off like a slug. Oh, bad as croc. Oh, look everyone. Greeny is scarring off like a slug. Yeah, look everyone, all you green rocks. Come and look at how much of a, a slug I am. Because green rocks really care about slugs. I really like the uh, interactions between the characters. Like the book, like sass is gr- grunty. I don't know if sass is the right word. I unlock that door. Hey, that's pretty cool. I've been thinking of starting a, a podcast, except there's only me, so it would be a really boring podcast. But if I had guests. Each episode would have a different, like, gimmick. Call it something stupid like the gimmick cast. So the gimmick cast... I don't know if I'll ever make it. But if I decide to make it... Um... 
some gimmicks could include uh, uh, people people standing up for the whole episode. Uh, people are play, playing as each other. All the different hosts on the show are playing playing each other. Here I go for the Sphinx again because I clearly didn't learn my lesson. Get off! Get off the Sphinx! Get off it! Get off! Another gimmick could be everyone is going out on a walk. Mm hmm. Now that, that could be cool. You get some exercise into the guests, or just like stimulate the brain, because walking stimulates your brain. You know, blood pumping, blood pumps into your brain. Another gimmick could be, oh, everyone is um hanging upside down. That would be pretty cool. Probably wouldn't work for a long podcast, but I am going to the desert before I am going to go to Frosty Freeze Land because um, Desert Desert is... I don't know. It's, um, you get the, uh, the running shoes, which is needed for one jiggy and... Um, Freeze Easy Peak, and in Freeze Easy Peak you get the dive bomb, which you need in um, Gobi's Valley. I guess I've been trying to do less uh, gaming stuff here and there. I did a, I've been doing like music writing and animations and stuff like that. So I've been trying to branch out, uh, just to, so that. You know, from the get-go, I was like, yeah, I don't want to be known as a gaming channel. I want to be known as a creative fella. So, like, writing music, animating, stuff like that. I don't want to be just, oh, he do Let's Play, he do Let's Play, he's a funny Let's Play man. Um, because I don't want to, I don't want to be known for that. Oh, I thought of something. Welcome back, everybody. I got a really, really edited episode. I want you to leave in the comments below if if you prefer it really edited like this one will be, or if you prefer them to be less edi edited like the first few ones. Also, I'm, I'm eating. I hope you don't mind. So, uh, you need to give this guy water. I give him an egg anyway. Can I just talk about how much of a, a problem Premiere Pro has been with me. Um, now you may remember, uh, last episode I talked about the episode before that. Uh, I lost all the editing for it, or like most of the editing, and that that sucked. But now uh, I've edited back, um, and then I edited this episode. Um, yeah, it's just, I lost that save because it got corrupted or something because I had the audacity to save save the project and then turn off my computer like 30 minutes after I saved it. But then I st started editing... No, I opened up Premiere to edit this episode. And what happens aside from my video, my footage, apparently... Uh, missing some audio and all of the audio was deleted luckily when I went online there was a tutorial about how to fix that just by clearing your media cache and that was like that was a lifesaver for me because I haven't exported any of the episodes yet even though I'm up to episode 11 I should really export them because if I don't export them I'm gonna lose them most likely because Premiere just is mean. Here's another stop and swap egg. Having a right good slice of Promite toast. If you're wondering who I'm, if you're wondering who, I'm, oh sorry. <coughs> if you're wondering who I am talking to, one of my friends. Is, geez, I, I should probably not eat and record. I made that message to myself in the last episode. But if you were wondering who I was talking to, one of my friends is sitting beside me, and... Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about you. 
I don't know, he just is just sitting there watching me. I don't know if he's blinked yet. It's kind of creepy, huh? You're alive, right? Yeah, he's nodding. I wonder if you can uh, get in the doorway in time. The answer is yes. Yes, you can. Sorry, he just passed me a note. Alright, it says... Get better at comedy. I'm sorry, you want to run the show? Do you want to run the show? Look at this, I just got... I just beat that jigsaw. Not jigsaw, I just got the jigsaw, but I beat it. He's, he's shaking his head disappointedly at me. Alright. If, if I'll I'll get I'll get better at comedy. See if I have any that I remember. He's just looking at me, I don't Is that supposed to remind me of a story? You condescending prick. Alright. And you got the uh, Jiggy off the tree from ground pounding um what was Campbell's name? Gucci? Uh, I could scream. People people love screaming, right? Ah, I missed that. I missed that note for a second. Ah! Oh no, I'm about to run out of run out of shoes and then get burnt by the sand. Oh no, I just got burnt by the sand. What can I do to keep the audience entertained? I wasted my best story in the first like second ep episode. Was it in the second episode? Um, uh, oh, oh, I can tell you a dream that I've had. You, you want to hear that? You want to hear that? Yeah, he's nodding his head. In a condescending way, of course. Alright. Uh. All of these are boring. Yeah, I, I'm real scared of this, this maze. <gasps> oh no, oh no, 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 you know what, you know what, I'm out, I'm out, alright? I, I can't deal with this stress. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Banjo Kazooie. Good, we're in the scary maze, scary maze cave. We're after the king's ancient relic. Which is a jiggy, of course, because. What other relics could there be? Yeah, yeah, bury me. We're getting the Nina Nina guys. Uh, Jiggy? Or is he? No, no, no. Um, there's been some problems with this episode. I'm really sorry to see this, guys, but some of the audio went missing um, after this segment and during Freeze Easy Peak, which is a shame because I love Freeze Easy Peak's music. Um, another reason that. Oh, uh, I don't know if it's because of Premiere or if it's because of Elgato. Uh, because I was playing Sonic 06 and I was recording it with an Elgato and then the footage came out <laughs> looking less than fine. But hopefully you can find it in your heart to uh, be alright with that until the audio comes back next episode. Um, because it's really unfortunate that it was lost. Uh, it's, yeah. But this is a scene from the future when I have the s speedy, speedy beak, beak, bazoom. Anyone else? I think it's weird that she's just got all these banjo kazooie things around in her lair. Like she's got that giant poster advent calendar of banjo and kazooie. Which is weird because according to the game they moved in recently. Like moved into Spiral Mountain recently. I don't know if that's true or not. But it's still weird that... That she has... That of them. Let's just... Get these... T twin twinks? Twinkies? Twinklies? I don't remember what they're called. Something stupid like that. 
Uh, the twinklies, yep. So there's a little little glitch that you can use to get through here. Luckily was not uh, patched out in the Xbox version. You basically kill the first one, then you come back and stand right here. Uh, this just basically takes away a lot of the fun. So if you are if you are playing Banjo Kazooie, I would recommend you do it the normal way because I mean it's boring. All right, you guys want to hear a story? Well, I, uh, I, I couldn't tell whether you said yes or not, because, I mean, this is like a one-way conversation, and I'm also recording uh, in the past, so if you did say yes, that's cool. If you said no, then I'm sorry. Uh, should I do like a, a warning of what this story entails? It's got like... This is a story about vomit. So if you don't, if you feel queasy about stories about vomit, turn over the video now. This was a day in science class. Um, I've been feeling, I woke up like, I was like super sick. I was like, oh. But my mom was like, oh, just no, just go to school, you'll be fine. So, <sighs> I feel something coming. So I asked to get a drink to you know, try and push it down. You know, during science class, I'm like, hey, could I get some water? I'm not feeling too good. So, uh, go and get a drink. And I come back and sit down. The person sitting next to me is like, uh, are you okay? I say I'm about to throw up. <laughs> like, sir? <laughs> sir, we got a vomiter. The teacher says to go to the bathroom. So I get up and, uh, as I'm leaving, I realize that I need to get to the bathroom fast. So I basically start sprinting to the bathroom, but I'm... I, I, there's like two sets of staircases from the science class to the bathroom. And it's like, oh, there's stairs and I'm, I'm about to throw up. So I, I pretty much hurl myself down the stairs, but I don't make it. I try to hold it in with my hand. And uh, a tsunami basically shot out of the cannon that scientists call a mouth. It was like the force of a mantis shrimp's punch, transferred into a gun, shooting a 15 ton hydrogen bomb filled with unspeakable liquid. <laughs> like a snake discovered life cheat codes. Uh, I reach the bottom of the stairs and I stumble into the bathroom, kneeling over a, uh, a toilet. And what else but my minigun was out of ammo. So I return to class, everyone stops and looks at me, and I look down, and I am coated in vomit. Uh, so I'm Bumble, you know, oh, I didn't, I didn't make it. So, the teacher's like, oh, so, on your shirt, is that, yep. So I grab my bag and turn back to my teacher, and he's, he's already got a sick bay note and gas mask on. <laughs> that was a... You know, at the, you know, during the vomit, it was it was bad. And then as immediately, immediately after it happened, I was like, oh, okay, I feel fine. And then as I got into the classroom, I was like, hey, that was actually pretty funny. By the way, if you're wondering why that story was well told, it was because I wrote it down like uh, an hour after it happened. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Banjo Kazooie. The audio is back. You may have noticed that. Um, I think it was a problem with Premiere. It decided to save last episode's audio as blank, but the audio came back today. I don't know what happened, but I'm just glad it's back. You get a green present? We got a green present. Okay, last episode, I told you guys a little story. Um, I don't think I have any more good stories like that. But I can't just like make noise. I gotta, gotta entertain the audience. All right, <laughs> let's throw some presents. Whoa, hey, uh, Kobe, ha, 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 ha. Uh, I wonder how outdated the, that saying is by the time this episode comes out. It's outdated when I say it. That seems to happen a lot. I just 
say outdated memes. Because I think that memes start out funny, then they get painfully unfunny, and then they become funny again. Yeah, Wogger's a xenophobe, doesn't like... Or was a... Not Wogger. Was is a xenophobe, he doesn't like bears and birds, I guess. I think I'm making pretty good time on my series. I'm already up to Freeze Easy Peak and this is episode 13, the unlucky number. Let's go over to Mumbo. Mumbo Jumbo? Uh -huh. Mumbo Jumbo is a, uh, a thief, he, or a kidnapper, he kidnapped this ginger and was holding it in his attic along with some musical notes. Who knows why he did that? I don't. My throat is so parched. And I think that's why my character needs some life. Uh, unless it's like a Halloween and it's a zombie speaking. You probably can't tell, but right now I'm on an exercise ball to try and exercise. Get some core strength. While we do this, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Way back in high school, we went on a camping trip. And in that camp, there were cabins. And in those cabins was something really comfortable. Uh, closets. They were chair high, you could sit in them. Whatever. In the cabin with me, there are a group of what you call cool kids, aka white boys with a lot of money. They had fake electronic cigarettes, you know, the vapes. And one of them, one day, one of them pulls out a bag of marijuana. The Mary Jane, the sticky icky. <laughs> And uh, the teachers didn't notice because he hid it inside of the light bulb. Um, I don't know why the teachers didn't think that the light bulb was strange at all. But he walks into the bathroom with a lighter, deodorant, a pack of a, a back of the pack of a toothbrush lighter. Not a toothbrush lighter. What am I talking about? Toothbrush case. Also, I just got another stop and swap item. Two other guys go into the bathroom as well. I assume they're token. And then later on. Like quite a while later, like 10 minutes or something, uh, one of them comes out stumbling around and giggling to himself. I don't know if he was like pretending to be high. Um, yeah, the other comes out and walks into three walls and then falls into a closet. Um, and they both fell asleep pretty quickly. I don't know. I don't know if they were like pretending. I mean, I've never smoked marijuana myself, but uh, I don't think. It makes you act drunk. So, uh, but they both fell asleep, one in the closet, one on the floor, and then, oh, you see how close that was? And then in the middle of the night, I just hear one of them going, what the hell am I doing in a closet? I woke people up. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Banjo-Kazooie. Um, today we're doing Mad Monster Mayhem. I haven't actually played this level this much. Uh, this, I think, is my second time actually playing this level through. Yeah, you just break in the windows and stuff. Uh, here we have yet another uh, stop and swap egg. Um, yeah, this room's too scary, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. If you like Banjo-Kazooie, like Banjo Kazooie, who's gonna tell you not to like something? That's something I don't really like. The you're not allowed to like this sort of people. Like, uh, cringe, uh, especially. Like, oh, that's that's cringy. That's cringy. You're not allowed to enjoy that, or else you're cringe. You see my expression right now? See, I've got one eye sort of like crunch close, it's because I'm cringing. Cringing that you enjoy yourself. <laughs> there was a video going around where uh, somebody like died on camera. That was really hard to watch and I didn't because you shouldn't watch people die. I wonder if YouTube's gonna take this video down <laughs> now. Um, here's my epic fail at trying to get a note. This video made me cringe. This video made me cringe. You, you changed my facial expression. I, I guess I'm more affected by, like, wince, wincing. 
like you wince while watching someone break their arm. And yet again it has um, Banjo-Kazooie's face. Is Grunty like a fangirl of Banjo-Kazooie? <laughs> Here we have the barrel room. Okay, I'm gonna do an, a little editing thing here where I do every barrel at once. Um, if you can glean enough information from this, I might do it again. Leave it in the comments below if you if you dig it. Um, this is, this, is, this series is basically me experimenting with editing styles to see both how much information I can convey, but also um, uh, to get through the game. Uh, footage glitched out a little more. Um, it's so great that the footage isn't glitching out as much as Sonic 06 did. Here's a little editing joke. Yeah, if you want to see more editing jokes like that, Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> As you walk the plank, my walk the plank. Hey everybody, welcome back. Coming coming to you from a new location. I, I hear the next door neighbors. They they might hear me, so I'm just gonna like bring it down a little. A, yeah, that was a pretty good, but here we go, uh, a little shippity chat. That editing joke took a lot of time, uh, I'm not saying like, oh it took a lot of time so you better update, upvote, no, um, I'm just saying it took a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't know why, I think it's just because I'm in a new location, I don't know if people can hear me, you know, you guys know that I don't like um, when people listen to what I'm doing, I, I like to be solitary, silence or whatever it is. It's been ages since I recorded the last Banjo-Kazooie. Normally I do it, um, each episode usually a day or two apart from apart from the last one um, but this one it's been over a month I think it's just been ages um, it's not because I, I I've, I'm giving up on my channel no it's not because of that I'm not going to be giving up on my channel for uh, ideally a long time but it's just because, you know, I've been sidetracked, I've been packing because I'm going overseas. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have even less videos coming out then. Um, by the time these go up, I would have already come back unless I'm dead. In which case, you may never be watching this. That's a little bit of a scary thought. Now, I remember I spent a long time looking for the last four notes and the only reason I found them is because I looked up the 100% Banjo-Kazooie by Pack Attack. So I, I watched them and I was like, okay. And then I saw these four notes and I was like, did I, did I collect them? I, if I didn't collect them, I'm gonna like scream, right? And I come in here, um, yeah. Yeah, there are notes. Um, of course, uh, I didn't scream too badly. Uh, I didn't wake up anyone within the near few kilometers, um, but yeah, I did do a slight sound, uh, like a, a very masculine grunt. Emphasis on 
masculine. It was like a, a war cry. It just attracted all the dames. <laughs> um, yep, I still got nine lives like a cat. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, 40 minutes. I'd say I finished the level in about 30 and just spent 10, 10 minutes looking for the notes. That's not true. Um, oh no. Oh, it seems fine. Uh, my computer setup is currently on an ironing board right now. Ah, uh, goddamn it. And on the ironing board it was. Um, things may sound a little different. Um, this is actually being recorded a few months since the, the first part because uh well okay let me let me play for you what happened um i did that and uh i thought it was fine i kept recording for the full episode um imagine my surprise and anger when i went back and saw that um i lost all the audio um as i was saying my portable hard drive has a frail cord and it disconnects at the slightest bump, right? I think I had like a leg spasm or something that bumped it. Yeah, you gotta pull some MLG strats to get this extra life. I don't need it because I already have nine and you know, like a cat, I never die, but uh, here we are. I don't remember what happened because um, I'm editing, but I mean, I haven't watched it back when I edited it. But, you know, if you thought that was bad. Bust her eyes. Okay, let me bust her eyes, hang on. Totally forgot about that. Awesome. Uh oh. Oh, come on, you fucking crunt! Uh-oh. What the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. No fucking way. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um Yeah. <laughs> I should have watched this in, you know, advance. That's what I usually do. But yeah, he couldn't break that eye because that eye doesn't break. I, I, I reckon I could probably take out a decent chunk of the population. Um, yeah, I'm really good at video games. If you're a child, like, like zero, to very early teens, pre-teens, um, I'd say, uh, what should I say? That you shouldn't be online, shouldn't be watching YouTube, um, or at least you shouldn't be watching YouTube as your main form of entertainment. Um, I say that implying that uh, you know, children should spend their time getting a hobby and getting good at that hobby, like writing music or, um, why do I say writing music, playing an instrument or drawing or something like that? Because what do you earn now? Yeah, that's a problem with these sorts of jokes is that I plan them, right? I had them in my head. And then when I come around to commentary and I haven't watched through it again, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't watch YouTube if you're a child as your main form of entertainment. Spend your time doing something productive, writing, playing instruments, something that could be potentially monetized even. Um, if you start it when you're younger, you'll be able to have more of an impact on our world instead of um, being a YouTuber or something like that. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know children. I I, I don't plan to have children. But um, yeah, my word of advice to children is get good. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> um, uh, this episode is, uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm just like giggling to myself. I was just like reading One Punch Man. Uh, I love One Punch Man. Like, every now and then I think about it and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> It's not even animation. <laughs> it's, it's not even animation. I was actually reading the uh, webcomic version of it. I think they like coincide with the music or something. I don't know. And I don't really care. If you look really closely, you may notice that brute forcing your way through it gives you some issues sometimes. Believe it or not, um, you're not supposed to brute force your way through it. So, <laughs> watch as I try the exact same thing uh, twice in a row, but for the third third time. Um, I never like pie pieced it together until later that. Uh, you could play the same instrument, the same number twice in a row. Watch as I try to again. Oh, huh? Hey, look at that, perfect. <laughs> um, somehow the camera changed, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but, um, I know the, uh, <clears throat> you know, the code's kind of long, uh, <laughs> Almost like it loops back around back to three, but I wouldn't know anything about that. Um, there's a little explosion for you all. Um, if I've made any video edits, uh, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> I won't remember where they are, so if anything funny happens and I completely miss it, <laughs> you know why. Um, I am no longer overseas, if you could tell because I actually have my microphone. Which is, it's, it's comforting, really, just holding my microphone again. Here's a little speedy running strategy for you. If you shoot eggs, um, you use up all your eggs, and then you won't have any left. So the next time you want to do anything with eggs, you have to uh, not have eggs. I mean, you don't have to not have eggs, but my strategy dictates that you don't have any eggs after you do this. Uh, oops, you're inside of me. Now, if you may may have noticed, my commentary game has not only not changed, but perhaps has even gotten worse because um, recently I've been not doing videos. Little project, it's, already, it's actually already started. You can find out um, some of it if you... <laughs> That wasn't funny. I don't know why I was laughing at that. Like, I was looking away and I, I just heard that. So I looked back and I just saw um, Flippo the Dolphin being scratched. Um, or like cut in half or whatever the original vision was. Uh, I'm not gonna like outright state it because then I'll just be like, oh hey, uh, check out this thing that I'm doing because you belong to me. This is the dreaded engine room, by the way. Um, this is what everyone's like. Oh, this is like the, the hardest uh, video game section in history. Uh, I did this without dying on my first try. So, you know, say what you will about me. I'm a master of video games. Um, it looks like I haven't pressed that switch. So maybe I'll go and press that switch. But first I'm going to press this switch. Never mind, apparently. I'm just gonna... I didn't die, actually. I That that was a little clipping uh, glitch that actually teleports you into that room um, and, like, smacks the button. Yeah, so that's a, f a little fun fact for any um, speedrunners. Also, there's a l little clipping glitch which lets you get a honeycomb 
they should have made it so that the honeycomb is accessible without doing that glitch because I mean the glitch is just not a lot of people are going to find out about that uh, I reckon a lot of people watching this uh, have it, probably haven't but then again uh, people who watch me are pretty smart because they watch me so yeah and then you just walk out here and then you'll be teleported back um, to this area um, yeah so a lot of glitches uh, well, I don't know if they're like glitches or just like intentionally input things um, for this uh, level because I think this level they had a lot of creative freedom um, Grant Kirkhope when he was designing this level um, you know he would have had um, Shigeru Miyamoto right up his back you know crawling around his neck like a goddamn centipede but Grant Kirkhope decided for this level he was going to do it in secret at his home in Miami so you know as he was as he was designing this level he decided to have some creative freedom and like express his anger at Shigeru Miyamoto by adding a lot of these um, little secrets See, there's a secret there that just teleports you to the end. Um, but for some reason, it just, you know, <laughs> takes away your time as if you just walk there normally. I guess it's a, you know, you do that and then uh, you won't, like, fall. So, <laughs> but yeah, Grant Kirkhope, you did a good design, uh, good job designing this level. Um, I really appreciate how... You actually hit me up on Twitter and let me know where all the locations of these uh, little secrets were because, you know, even though I already knew them, you know, you just wanted to confirm because I'm your favorite YouTube channel and <laughs> I wonder how many people would have gotten mad if I, like, continued that. Probably a, a vocal uh, minority would have stirred some controversy with that. And if Grant Coco ever sees that, he'll probably call me a knob and, and then he'll just like dox me or something. But, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I just want to have fun. I just want to have fun. Because at the end of the day, that's all we want. What does I walk into a corner? Also, <laughs> I just looked down in the timeline. I haven't finished editing this episode. Um, yeah, there's a little jump, jump thing right there, um, which lets you get that extra life. Before I go in there though, um, this is Click Lock Wood. A lot of people like this level because of the, um, the same level design but with different seasons. I think that's a really smart idea and I quite like Grant Coco for designing the level like that. <laughs> what else is there to say? Um, YouTube. Uh, YouTube's been really nice to small creators recently um, by raising the benchmark for monetization. Um, so I'm going to be demonetized. <laughs> um, I feel like it'll be probably for a few years because um, my channel sucks. I need to start making more high quality content so that it would actually be worthy of being shared. Um, there's a little clip of Banjo getting his nose snooted, uh, his snout bitten. Haha, <laughs> should we, um, remember that boss boombox? I said something about not having enough eggs. Um, yeah. I think I've mentioned before that this episode is very much, I mean, this series is very much a experimental se I one short, by the way. That sucks. That sucks how it's just one short. Do some jumping, you know. Uh, completely miss what you were trying to jump for. Crack your back on that tree stump and drown yourself. I can't wait to, uh, you know have no foreseeable income in the future unless I, you know, actually start applying for jobs that matter, you know, at least with the monetization um, 
I could make videos like that Legend of Zelda that got a ton of views. Thank you so much for viewing that if you did, by the way. I'm blown away by how many views that got. By the way, you like editing jokes that you forget about? Yeah, this is the, um, how they couldn't enter Nabba's. Was it Nabba? Yeah, he just couldn't get in. Real, real funny, dude. Great comedian right here. You know what? I'm not like one to promote myself. Um, because that's kind of like, why bother? But if you want to support me, uh, just like tell your friends, hey, I found this pretty, pretty okay guy on YouTube. Um, you should uh, check him out sometime. But of course, you don't have to do that. Don't feel obligated to shove my channel down other people's throats. What am I going to talk about now? There's no editing. Ha! <laughs> that's a that's probably a good joke right uh, yeah i do like people being bullied uh, yeah <laughs> if you know anyone that wants to be bullied hit me up i'll probably bully him yeah sorry i just wanted to drink some water but this episode is coming to a close so see ya see ya Hey everybody, welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Some notes, and there's like a Zubba's uh, bee nest or whatever. Da -da 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 -da. You know, I, I quite like click wood. Gotta drink some water real quick. There was a comment, uh, a, qu a question that crossed my mind. The question is, why do I make videos? I don't gain anything, and I really only seem to lose from making videos. I got demonetized, so I can't make money from them. Um, they take a lot of time to produce and work on, and. Um, they don't get a lot of reception, so I can't even pretend, like, people watch them. Yeah, it only seems to be negatives coming from my channel. However, I'm pretty sure I've stated it before, but... Uh, the main reason I make videos is just to play around, experiment, see what works, because... If I ever become a professional video editor, I could know stuff like timing. But I'm pretty sure I've said this before on this series that I'm not just a game content creator, gaming content creator, whatever. I also, you know, produce animations, music, uh, stuff like that. So really, um, what my um, gaming videos are for are to mainly use YouTube's algorithm to get me more views. Now as far as <laughs> getting views goes, uh, it's not doing fantastic. I gotta remember my mindset that I set out with. That I'm doing this for me, I'm doing this to have fun. But for some reason I'm I don't know, I'm, I'm just like greedy or something. Surely this won't lead anywhere and I'll just end up with a dead YouTube channel with 200 videos. Creating content is is fun and I want it to be fun. So I give myself little things that I can do to make it more fun. Um, you know, I, I edit in little editing jokes here and there like that Tyrannosaurus bit. Um, you know, I, I could have just edited in 
a scene from Jurassic Park and called it a day. But instead, I transposed um, Mumbo's head onto the guy and Kazooie's head onto Jeff Goldblum, I think. I, I went above and beyond, is what I'm trying to say. Creating content when I'm doing what I like is fun. And I don't think a lot of people do that. They create what other people want to see. And while that might la lead them to get, you know, more revenue because people are like, oh, hey, I want to see this. Let's go over and watch this. You know, while that might be what might work, might be fine, you know, might get them a lot more money than I get, at the end of the day, who's going to be happier going to bed? <laughs> I say that like uh, I'm some sort of like martyr. Like, yes, <laughs> you all slave away, working for the masses, <laughs> while I truly enjoy myself. I don't mean to be so such a so much of a pretentious piece of trash but really the point is um I like pretending to say motivational stuff that comes off as really pretentious which I don't mean it to but you know they might go to bed in a $5,000 mattress that they bought from a top top line uh, mattress store <laughs> while I sleep on a, a couch in a really bad apartment. So really, at the end of the day, who wins then? I'd like to believe it's me. I've also realized I'm a very boring person. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. I think a part of why I'm doing YouTube is also to try and work on my personality so I'm something more than just a person. No. <laughs> I want to be more than just a person. I want to be a god. I want people to bow down to me when they hear my voice. Um, that is not the case. <laughs> what do I want? I want, I don't know, be able to hold with uh, conversations with actual substance. Be able to have more than three or four topics at a time. You know, in short term, going over you know, visiting somebody, you know, that's fine. Where you spend a lot of e dead air with somebody or with a group of people. So you could hold a conversation with one person and you're like, cool, I've run out of things to talk about and we still have another four hours on this bus trip. Should I talk to the person behind them and risk them uh, realizing that I'm using the exact same conversation topics that are used on the person in front of them? Should I turn to the front of the car or the bus and uh, just listen to music until I get more ideas of what to talk about or what there's no real winners um, if I'm involved you know what I'm really sick of just seeing all these memes that are just like oh d does anybody else want to kill themselves ha <laughs> ha you asked me to back up any of my statements and I wouldn't know what you're talking about I have a terrible memory and I don't like thinking. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm just like have like 16 IQ. Creating content on YouTube, while it could be fun, it can be fun, um, and it can be quite rewarding. At the end of the day, you have to remember who you're doing it for. And if you're doing it for the wrong person, then you should try and change your mindset. Leave a comment of how you found the video. It's what you get for stop and swap. The earlier you start signing, the more likely it is to matter. You think uh, Romans would have conquered the earth? <laughs> if they waited till the next day. <laughs> now let's watch the takeoff. <laughs> hey. 
Uh, hey, we got a little jiggy. I appreciate you. Bye. Bye bye. Hey, everybody, welcome back. The next episode is gonna be it. Is gonna be the last episode. And um, I'm not really sure if I want this series to end, to be honest. Because this series has been on and off for like uh, a year or so. And uh, maybe not a year. But yeah, um, I'm just finishing up um, this place. I haven't edited the next episode yet, but if I did, then I would know what's happening. But since I did, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Wow, what what an assessment. What? <laughs> B is good. Also, I have ordered pizza. Um, and I hope it gets here soon enough that I can eat it soon. But not too soon so that it doesn't interrupt this recording. Um, I want a gamer pick for picking up all the gingos in the game. Um, you know, this game is quick to remind you that you are on the Xbox. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm with my kind now, so here's where I'll spend the end of my days. This is actually the reason why this episode, this series is going to be 15 million episodes long, just because I'll be flying around. Okay. <laughs> that would be pretty funny there. Just 20 minutes over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just so stupid. The term wage cut is just really funny. Should I be talking over this? I don't know. <laughs> when this series comes out, I'll be able to read the comments of, it, of people uh, s s spamming, just like, stop stop typing all this, uh, stop speaking over the chat, you, you freak. Nah, the creator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Tyler. You're gonna have to hand over the over the name for that. Yeah, I want to be a general creator, is what I'm saying. Like music, video, games, writing and drawing as well. Um, I think I'm just trying to justify the fact that I'm creating let's plays in current year. This series was a lot of fun to work on, and I hope um, any series I work on in the future. Um, or as fun as this. I don't know what made this so fun. I think it was just because um, I'm being able to talk freely, so I'm having fun. Uh, I don't know, is there any like defining moments of this series? Leave a comment down below of any fantastic things I've done while working on the series. Just like things that when you think about my editing style, you think of that. I think that a long time in the future I'm gonna have a huge sense of nostalgia for this game and I think that's just gonna be co uh, come from how much time I've spent on this series because when I think about Ben, I, I didn't grow up with this game rather um, so when I think about it I don't think about you know chi cherished childhood memories of you know slapping away at a controller in front of a CRT TV um, while this game is um, injected directly into my eyeballs, rather what I think about is the, you know, hours and hours I've spent um, sitting in a bad posture in front of a computer screen, very tired and bored. <laughs> no, I have fun. I have fun editing this series. Um, it, uh, this series is definitely the most fun to work on. Uh, out of most of the videos I've made. I think that the video I had the most fun working on would probably be um, the original uh, Time Link video or if uh, Young Link or if Adult Link did Young Link Dungeons. That was a, that was quite fun to work on because um, I don't know. I think at the time I was working on some other projects and I was just like uh, messing around in Project 64 and then I saw the cheat uh, to switch the links around and I thought, hey, that'll be a, a pretty funny idea. Um, it's not like anyone's going to work on it. Uh, not, not like anyone's going to watch it anyway. I'm going to edit in some silly dialogue as, as well. And then it suddenly blew up somehow. I don't know if it was um, a combination of 
uh, like YouTube's algorithm optimization by including a link twice in the title, or if it's just like, just because it's such a popular game, like everyone loves Ocarina of Time. Also, finish that. Watch time is like two minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, that might just because I'm, I like click onto it and read the comments and then leave without actually watching the video, which might cause that. Or, you know, people just see my obnoxious editing and then just leave. But, okay, okay. I really want that grunty doll, though. It's so dumb. <laughs> Why are they barbecuing his goldfish? That's kind of... <laughs> the goldfish is still alive. Why did it take you so long to say that? Oh. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh hey, everybody, welcome back. This is it. This is the last episode. Don't ask what I'm doing. I've I have no idea. Oh, oh, hey, a little. I got a little secret for you guys right there. <laughs> Kazooie's just like real mean, as usual. Good old, good old banjo, St sticking up for um, pot. This is uh, one of my favorite boss fights in any game. It is extremely difficult, however, but as you'll watch and find, um, I don't die or take any damage. Swoopings, it's witch swooping season. I, I didn't run into that, that was just like a, a little glitch, you know. I didn't actually lose any, that was just like a video corruption. Um, I still have full health. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but really guys, um, I don't take any damage and I don't die. Also, that's not a light wing ball, that was a meteor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the gingos come up. You um put the uh, eggs into the little holes, and then the gingos like go and hit her. Oh, it's fantastic! Uh, this is like my favorite part. Yeah, I love the um. <laughs> Oh, it's fantastic. Also, you don't really think about gingers having beaks. You think they've just like got like um a snout or something, not really. A beak. But I don't know. Th this is just, I love this so much. It's just something about this just like makes me really giddy and happy. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's fantastic. This is a great boss fight. I think it's just a combination of um, sound effects and um, timing and all that that just makes this fight so enjoyable. Hey, hey, hey. She's just real mean during, during this fight. Grunty really is just a terrible witch. Because she kidnapped Banjo's sister, so Banjo's acting out of, like, um, to protect her. And, it, and she's just, like, attacking them to this caliber. I don't know. This is, this is the best part. I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet so you can enjoy this.
<laughs> I don't know where those rocks came from. Oof. I somehow didn't die from that. Too heavy. Fantastic. I think the reason I like that part of the fight so much is because I like um, big objects like battling each other, like giants fighting. And I think that like the weight behind the Gingernator as well as Grunty's weight <laughs> tie in really nicely. Also, haha, <laughs> look, the woman has melons, ha <laughs> 2D just looks really out of it. Oh, isn't that nice? This game was a blast to uh, play. Um, I had a lot of fun editing it and commentating over it. Um, yeah, I, ho I hope you guys uh, enjoyed wobbling it. Enjoyed watching it. <laughs> Enjo I hope you guys enjoyed wobbling this series. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. These guys are all just cute, aren't they? Just adorable. The tip top choir, I remember. That little air horn sequence. Or not, uh, the mu little musical sequence. Leave down in the comments below uh, which character your favorite favorite was. As they say, all things, all good things must come to a close. And while this not the not the best of good things, it was certainly up there on my list. Oh, did, did I miss them? Did I miss them? Oh. Is that an innu innuendo? Is that a sexual joke? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just an ordi ordinary, I'd like to stick that in a lock. Cause that's where keys go. And everybody who saw that and immediately thought dirty thoughts are going to go to a uh, uh, baby prison. Thank you all for watching. Your support means a lot. Um... <laughs> Bye-bye! Hey! Um, but I cut out all my failures, so it looks like I'm good at the game. And maybe I'll get a sense of pride and accomplishment from that and people leaving in the comments. Wow, you did a great job. Except nobody's going to leave in the comments why wow, you did a great job. Because I just exposed myself. Um, t what is this? Easter egg hunt? Oh, nice, dude. D yeah, this is the same house that Banjo lives in. Um, very nice. Very cool. <laughs> get it? Because it's an ice. <laughs> <laughs> Cut back perfectly to a baby crying. I'm gonna unlist this. There's no way I'm gonna have this up on the channel. Don't tell anyone else this episode exists, because I want it to be our little secret. Hey! Core. For like 30 minutes. Also, got bust with one second. One second. I told you I was gonna round it up to. I, I told you I was gonna round it up to 20, and I did it. By golly gosh, I did it. Eat that, Ravski.
Oh, 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 oh,